Hi guys and welcome to my floor. <laughs> this is going to be the 2018 makeup and skincare empties. What you see here is all the makeup and skincare I finished in 2018. I just wanted to show you like the overview of everything but I will go ahead and categorize everything and lay everything out a lot better so you guys can see that. So this is an overlay of all the makeup and skincare I've used and it's crazy to see it this way because it's like the first time I'm seeing it this way and that's a lot of products to go through. So I'm happy that I've gone through this many products because you know I have a lot of makeup and I need to go through it and this is just a good way to show and see how much makeup I can go through within a year. So if you see that little corner right there that's all my face primers over here are all my foundations. My concealer is right here, my eye primer is right there. There are all my powders, all the mascaras I've used up, all the brow products I've used up. Right there are all the liners I've used up, and then those are actually like pencil liners. So these are all the liquid liners I've used up and all the pencil liners. And so I have all my um, lip products right here. Those are all like liquid lipsticks, and then lip glosses and then lip balms and then like one pencil lip liner <laughs> these are all the um, bronzers or contours that I've used up that is one single highlighter I've used up one single eyeshadow I've used up and there goes all the blushes I've used up these are all the setting sprays I've used up this year that's a lot and then over here are the cotton rounds I've used up and these right here are the makeup wipes I've used up so over here are all like the facial cleansers like foaming facials micellar waters anything cold cream right there and then over here are all the sunblock I've used up for the year and over here are all the masks I've used up this section over here are all the moisturizers I've used up over here are actual like face serums and stuff that I've used up that one lonely thing is a toner I've used up, but I think I've used up more. It's just that I've decantered like large toner bottles in smaller toner bottles. So I only have one. And these are all the facial scrubs I've used up. I apparently skipped this part, sorry. Um, these are all the eyelashes I've used up and these are all the makeup sponges I've used up. So this is just a quick overview of everything. I will go ahead and do like a closer in-depth like single category thing just letting you know quickly what I've liked what I've disliked um, if you have seen my makeup empties that I usually do month to month although I didn't do one for like the last four months of the year I, I kind of just like got really busy and it fell off but I did keep the empties that I had throughout the four months I just didn't do a video on them and they're all here. In those videos, I do go more in depth into why I like a product and why I don't. This one, I'm just going to tell you quickly, like, I like them, I don't like them. So, you know, I'm just, just this, this video is not like a million years long kind of thing. So let's get on to that portion of the video. So these are all the face primers I use up in the year. I did finish one full size face primer. The rest are deluxe size samples. Now, all of these I really didn't enjoy. This e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer is very silicone-y and I dislike silicone-y primers. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase these two from Too Faced, the Hangover RX. They are silicone-free. They're kind of just there and kind of bland and for the price, I would not repurchase these. Um, the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity um, primer or I don't think it's even a primer I'm not really sure what it's for I think it's more like a skin benefit thing but I used it as a face primer and while it was okay I didn't really enjoy it so I wouldn't repurchase it especially you know bare minerals being more expensive there's you know no point this is the Murad Invisible Perfecting Shield um I really didn't enjoy this it does have silicone in it so I didn't really enjoy it and then this is the Essay Lauder, the Smoother Universal Perfecting Primer, which is pretty much just all silicone. So I didn't enjoy that either. So none of these I would repurchase. These are So these are all the foundation I finished up in the air, which is a total of nine. Six of them being full size and then three being deluxe size samples. 
And I'm actually really surprised I finished up this many. I honestly forgot I finished up this CoverGirl one and this Physician's Formula one. So that was early on in the year. I totally forgot about them. <laughs> so I am really glad to see this amount because I have a lot of foundations that I need to work through. So this is a great number to see. But still surprising because honestly, I like a lighter coverage. So it's just like, I don't cake it on. So <laughs> the fact that I've gone through this many and I like a lot. And I like lighter coverage is crazy to me. Um, so, but anyways, let's get on to the products. So this is the e.l.f. foundation. I had this one in San, I believe. And I didn't really like it. I don't like how it sits on my skin. It's okay, like, in the beginning. But it tends to, like, kind of sit very heavily. And I don't really enjoy that. So, I would not repurchase. This is the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. I bought this before I realized my I was really oily. Before I really, like, got into makeup. So I would not repurchase this. It's just the wrong type of product for me. This is the CoverGirl Clean Matte. I think I like this, but I honestly can't really remember too much. So I would not repurchase this. This is the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth. And this I did not enjoy. It's a very heavy, very, very bulky packaging. And it's just you don't get a lot of product. It's only 0.4 ounces. And normally foundations are at least one full full an ounce so i wouldn't repurchase this and i honestly just didn't like it anyway this is the wet and wild mega cushion foundation this one is in buff beige and i really enjoy this foundation this sits pretty well on my skin it it's not the longest wearing but i do enjoy it and i know i said about the aqua smooth one that it doesn't have a lot but this one is like 0.52 but for some reason, this one, like, I feel like lasts way longer than this one did. So I did enjoy this product, and I would repurchase, and I have repurchased this one. This is the Physician's Formula, like, their cushion, mineral wear cushion foundation. This one is in natural. I didn't enjoy this. I don't, honestly, I didn't, I don't remember how I liked it. So if I don't remember how I enjoyed it or not enjoyed it, then it's kind of like a meh product, and I wouldn't repurchase this one. This one is a Clinique, like, deluxe eye sample. They're super balanced, and I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't like it, so I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the Tarte Tarte Guard, and I do enjoy this one, so I do have a full size. Now, this one I do really enjoy, and I would repurchase. This is the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer, and although it says primer in it, it has a tint that does really well, and especially for me, because I do like a lighter coverage i really do enjoy this as a foundation and this one is in medium and i would definitely repurchase so these are all the concealers i used up in the year which is surprising because i thought i would have used them more considering if you saw the foundations you think there would be more concealers here but i don't really go through concealers a lot i use them more lightly than you normally see on youtube so I enjoy a lighter concealer and I honestly don't need to use concealer every day so that might be the reason why but I really do enjoy this one this is the Maybelline fit me and I have this one in medium and I really do enjoy it, and I would repurchase this is something I would continuously repurchase it is lighter and I do enjoy lighter concealers I don't need anything heavy so I would repurchase this this is a Physician's Formula Concealer, and I did not use this as a concealer. I used this as an eye primer because it is just far too thick of a product for me. I don't like thick concealers, so that's how I use this one, but I would not repurchase this. So this is the NARS Concealer, and I have this one in Custard. This is about their travel size, and I did enjoy this. And I do think this has a little bit more coverage than the Maybelline one, but... For right now, I don't see myself repurchasing this. Maybe like later down the line when I need more coverage, I would consider this. But this works for me really well and is uh, cheap and, <laughs> and it's cheaper. So the fact that I don't need that much coverage, I would rather repurchase this than this. So these are my two eye primers that I ended up using up. I'm not surprised that I didn't use up more because like I said, and you saw in, in my concealer empties that I tend to use concealers as, as primers as well so I'm not very surprised that I only used up two 
This one is an actual eye primer and this one is not. Um, but this is a full size e.l.f. eye primer. And while I did like it, I think I'm just going to phase out eye primers and just use concealers instead. Because they do about the same thing for me. This one is actually not an eye primer, but that's how I used it. This is a Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance um, Cream Eyeshadow. And I just used it as an eye primer. So I would not repurchase this. I wouldn't repurchase any of them really. So these are all the powders that I ended up using up for the year. I finished off five full size and then five deluxe size samples, which isn't surprising to me because I do go through powders quite easily. Now this one is the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder and I did actually enjoy this for my under eyes. So I would repurchase this and I do actually think I have one in my stash. This one is the Rimmel London Stay Matte and this one is in Sandstorm and I did really enjoy this so I would repurchase this. These two are Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. This one is in Golden Tan and this one is in Warm Beige. And I found out I really don't enjoy these so I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 130 Buff Beige. I really did actually enjoy this. I just hate the bulky packaging. This is the IT Cosmetic Bye Bye Pores Pressed, and I did actually really enjoy this for my under eyes, but I feel like this, the Wet n Wild kind of did the same thing, so I would not end up repurchasing this. This is a Bare Minerals Original. This is actually a um, foundation, but I did end up just using this as a powder, and I enjoyed it enough, but I feel like it did leave my face a little more heavy than I like, so I wouldn't go out and repurchase this. This, on the other hand, is a Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and I really enjoy this, especially for my under eyes. I love this. I actually went out and bought a full size, so I would definitely repurchase this, but I feel like there are some drugstore products I might buy instead, but I did get the full size at a discounted rate, pretty much drugstore rate, so I will pretty much only buy this if I could get this on sale again. This is... An Ulta Beauty Mattifying Balm. I enjoyed it, but I didn't love it, so I wouldn't repurchase this. Sorry, this is a little dirty, but this is an e.l.f. and this is their under eye setting powder. I really did enjoy this, but I feel like for the amount that you get and the price, I don't think it's worth it. So I ended up finishing 12 mascaras and eight of them being full size. I tend to like to layer on my mascaras. So I guess it's not that bad if you think like two per two to three per every three to four months. So I guess that's not that bad. Um this is the All May this is the All May Intense Eye Volumizing Mascara and this is actually in plum so I actually did enjoy the color of it but the formula wasn't the best and the brush wasn't the best so I wouldn't really consider repurchasing this. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational and I really enjoy this one and I would repurchase this and but I have like backups <laughs> in my collection so I don't need to repurchase this. This is definitely a repurchase for me. And I enjoyed this product as well. While the Maybelline Last Sensational for me is more of a lengthening and separating mascara. This is more like a volumizing mascara. So I did like pairing those two together. So I would repurchase this one as well. This Revlon Colorstay Overtime, I would not repurchase. I think it's a bit of a dry formula and I don't feel like I got a lot out of it. So I wouldn't repurchase this. This is an e.l.f. mascara and I did not enjoy this and I wouldn't repurchase this. It just didn't do anything to my lashes. Same thing for this Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. Kind of didn't do much. It coated but that's pretty much all it did so I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the L'Oreal Paris Volumizing Original and... I don't really remember how I liked it or not, if I enjoyed it or not. So I wouldn't repurchase this knowing that I really enjoyed my Maybelline and the Essence one. So I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the Maybelline Great Lash. 
And I wouldn't repurchase this because honestly, it doesn't do much to your lashes, especially my lashes, which are pretty sparse. So I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the deluxe. This is a deluxe size sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara, and I think it was okay. Um, I didn't feel like it flaked or anything, but for the price, I wouldn't purchase this. This is the It Cosmetics Super Hair Mascara, and I actually really did enjoy this, and I wouldn't ever mind getting this in another, like, free gift with purchase, but I, and I do think it did a little better than the Maybelline or the Essence, but not enough for me to go out and spend the money on it, considering this is a product you do have to throw out every three to four months. Now, this one is a Benefits Their Real Tinted Primer, and... I don't really did like I don't feel like it really did that much um, to go out and buy a tinted primer for your mascara honestly if you want something just like just go buy a brown mascara versus like this one or if you need like a primer just layer two different mascaras like I normally do so this is not a repurchase for me and this is the Urban Decay Perversion I think think I enjoy this but I really don't remember so I wouldn't repurchase this and honestly I just feel like you don't need to go out and purchase high-end mascaras just go get like your favorite drugstore I feel like drugstore does just as well as high-end mascaras so these are all the brow products I ended up using up five of them being full size and the other four being deluxe size samples this is actually a Maybelline great lash you're actually supposed to use this to coat your eyelashes, but because you tend to do that or you tend to get like the mascara coloring on there. So I ended up just using this as a clear coat over my brows when I was done, kind of like a brow gel. I would not repurchase this. I didn't really enjoy it either as a mascara clear coat thing or as a brow like setter thing so I wouldn't repurchase this and I do have one more that I need to use up this is the benefit bravo conditioning primer I did not enjoy this this is the benefit gimme brow and I did enjoy this but I would not repurchase this because I found like cheaper alternatives to this this is also a benefit product this is the precisely my brow pencil and like I said, I found alternatives that I just like better, cheaper alternatives, so I wouldn't repurchase either. This is a Wet n Wild brow pencil, and I did actually end up really enjoying this and the coloring, so I would consider repurchasing this product. This product I liked as well. This is a NYX. Um, they they stated it as either an eyeliner or a brow product, but as an eyeliner, it's far too stiff, but that's great for my brows because I like a stiffer formula, so I did enjoy this and would repurchase that. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz, like a little deluxe size sample, and I wouldn't repurchase this because, like I said, there's just cheaper alternatives to um, higher-end brow pencils. And these two are actually single eyeshadows. These are in Smoke, which Alme, I don't believe, make anymore, which sucks because this was like my perfect um, brow powder to use in my brows. So I really did enjoy that for that. And I'm actually pretty surprised of how much I've gotten through, considering that I don't feel like I do a lot. I guess I need more product than I thought in my brows. So these are all my pencil eyeliners and liquid eyeliners I used up in the year. I used up three pencil eyeliners and then I used up 12. <laughs> crazy, crazy number, but I used up 12 liquid eyeliners. Now, to start off, I don't really use pencil eyeliner, so I'm actually pretty happy with the amount that I've used up. I don't really enjoy pencil eyeliners. This Milani one, I probably end up using it in my brows versus actually using it as an eyeliner. So, I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the Physician Forma Gel Pencil um, Liner, and I liked it, but I didn't love it, so I wouldn't repurchase this. This is a Physician's Formula. It came in a trio kit. As you can see, it matches this one. But I didn't really enjoy it, so I wouldn't repurchase this. I kind of used it more as like a base 
for like darker eyeshadow. So I used it as that, which was nice, but I wouldn't go out and purchase that. These two are from Physicians Formula as well. And these two are the Sexy Eye Booster. I really did enjoy this product. And this these two are in Ultra Black. And you have to get Ultra Black. But um, they are kind of on the pricier side. I would repurchase these if I can get them on sale. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy them. But I do like them. This is an e.l.f. liquid liner. And I did not like this product. I think it dried out with... I think it dried out on me like less than a month, probably even less than that. And so I did not like this and I would definitely not recommend this product. This is the Essence Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof and I don't think it's waterproof. And it didn't last very long for me either, probably less than a month as well or a month. So I would not repurchase this. This is the Scylla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I liked it i think and it is a deluxe size sample so it's not even a full size sample but it just didn't last very long for me probably about a month but i guess i can't really base it because it is only a deluxe size sample but i have these <laughs> elf products that i like a lot better so i would not repurchase this this i tried using but it actually had dried out on me before i even got to use it like like it honestly like it's white and no product is coming out of it and I never use it I never open this up so definitely would not repurchase this and this is and this is from Physicians Formula and like I said you get this in a trio the other product I haven't finished so you didn't you it's not in here so I would not definitely not repurchase this this is the Essence Dip Eyeliner and I did actually really enjoy this it's just that the the tip on this is kind of awkward as you can see and it's funny kind of to me it smells like peanut butter and I kind of like that so I wouldn't mind repurchasing this it didn't smudge on me or anything like that so if I could get it on sale I'll definitely might consider repurchasing this repurchasing this one but these are my favorite like holy rail ones and these are from elf these are their potted liquid eyeliners and I just love these and these are like two three dollars and I these last me about I would say like two months each but considering that they're only like two to three dollars definitely would repurchase this these do not smudge on me I would not say they're matte but I don't need matte because <laughs> a lot of times my um, eyeshadow transfers onto my eyeliner it's just my problem can't do anything about it but I definitely do like this and I do like this one too this one these are in jet black but this one is in Midnight, which is a nice blue tint. So I did like this one as well. And I would repurchase all of these. And I have, and I have crazy amounts of backups of these. So these are my holy grail. So these are all the lip products I ended up using up for the year. And I'm really proud of myself because I have a lot of lip products that I really need to work through. And I used a total of 15 lip products. I do understand that a lot of them are a mix of full size and sample sizes or full size and deluxe size samples but honestly deluxe size samples you it takes a while to go through as well so I'm actually pretty proud of myself with all the things I've used up so I used up two full size ColourPop ultra matte liquid lipsticks this was in Entrap and this one is in Bumble I really enjoyed the Bumble color and I would consider repurchasing this but I found that I really didn't enjoy their formula as much as other formulas I've actually come across. So I wouldn't repurchase these. This is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip. And I do actually enjoy their Ultra Satins a lot more than their Ultra Mattes. So I would repurchase these more. Um, this is a Sephora mini set that they had. Just one of them. And I really enjoy the Sephora um cream lip stains this is a tart lip quench in nude i liked it but honestly i went through it so fast because the product is so creamy it tends to slide off of the applicator so i liked it but i would not repurchase especially for the price it's quite expensive as a lip balm this is an all like liquid lip balm and i do really enjoy this as a quick 
tinted lip balm so I would end up repurchasing this this is also another Alme lip balm more in their stick form and I did actually really love this and would repurchase this as well so if you guys are sleeping on Alme's lip balms you you need to go out and you know try some they're not that inexpensive but they're definitely not expensive this is an elf lip balm and for the price and the amount of product you get I definitely don't think I would repurchase this I liked it enough but I went through this so fast that I wouldn't repurchase this I would rather repurchase the all made you get a lot more product for a little bit more but it lasts way longer than this product this is a Burt's Bees lip shimmer in fig and I did enjoy this product but I feel like it's far more expensive than an all made this is an aquafina hydrating lip oil it was okay it's a lip oil so I didn't really like it too much it's good to get off it was actually pretty good to get off like liquid lipsticks and use it as that but I would not repurchase this but I did I think I got this at like the dollar store so it's all right but I wouldn't repurchase this these two are from Vaseline it's a lip therapy and I normally keep these like by my bedside table um right before I put some I normally put these like right before I go to sleep. So I enjoyed these for these and I do have quite a few in my backup and I would repurchase these because you do get a lot of product and they last a very long time. They're like $2 and they last a super long time. So I would repurchase these. This is a Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Pumper and I didn't really like it enough. It was okay but... I don't feel like it did anything and for the price I wouldn't repurchase this. This is a mini Estee Lauder flash photo gloss and it's a gloss so I wouldn't repurchase this. It doesn't do anything more than any of the cheap alternatives out there. So I finished up one lip liner and this is a ColourPop lip liner in the shade Frida. I did enjoy it but the application and I just did not like so I wouldn't repurchase this. I did like the color. I just did not enjoy the application so I wouldn't repurchase this product. And that is all the lip products I finished off in 2018. So these are all the setting sprays or facial sprays I finished up and that is a total of 13 products. Now this is the Milani Make It Last and while I do enjoy it I feel like it's a bit expensive so I wouldn't repurchase this unless I could get it like on a really good sale. This is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set and I wouldn't repurchase this. I didn't really like it too much so I wouldn't repurchase that. These two are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus in Natural and I liked it but I didn't like I don't like it enough to go out and repurchase this unless I can get it on sale. This is the Urban Decatur All Nighter and I enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Like honestly, I enjoyed most of these. None of these were really terrible. But um for the price, I definitely would not repurchase. Setting sprays really don't make my makeup last any longer. I like the more melding effect it does for my powders. So I would not repurchase these. And these three are the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. And I would not repurchase these. Uh, I got these on sale during Ulta's 21 days. For the price, I wouldn't repurchase these. This is a NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. Liked it, but I wouldn't repurchase this. This is an Ulta Beauty Matte Makeup Setting Spray. Liked it, but um, would I repurchase this? Probably not. And this is just a mini size of the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have this Tarte Ready Set Radiant. Um, I don't feel like it really did anything more than the other, so I wouldn't repurchase this. And this is a Kula Makeup Setting Spray, which I l enjoyed because it had SPF in it. So I would consider repurchasing this because it's just a nice um, um, setting spray when you're out and about in a long day and in the hot sun so I would consider repurchasing this one so these are two blushes that I finished up in the year and that is crazy for me to say that I finished up 
two blushes. This one pretty much took a year and a half to two years to finish up. And this is from Wet n Wild. This is their color icon in Mellow Wine. And I did really enjoy it. It's pretty pigmented. But, whew, did it take forever to use up. So this pretty much tells me I don't ever need to buy any more blushes. Because I have a bajillion blushes that I need to go through. And it's going to take me like 50 years to finish up my blushes, honestly. Um, <laughs> I did... At first, I and at first I did not like this product. This is a Sephora colorful cheek ink gel, and this one is in Fiona. But I ended up liking it because I learned how to use it. But would I repurchase a cream blush? No, I feel like the powder blushes do just as well. So while I liked both of these products, I wouldn't repurchase these. I just have too much in my collection to want to repurchase any of these. So this Lonely product is the only highlighter I ended up finishing up in the year. This is a Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam, which I ended up using up like um, underneath regular highlighters. Pretty much underneath my foundation and then I would top it on top. And then I would top the foundation on top. And it's a small, tiny little thing. I'm hoping in 2019 to get more um, highlighters out of my collection by use. So while it is a tiny little accomplishment, it is definitely an accomplishment and uh, lets me know that I can definitely get highlighters out of my collection. And so I'm proud of it, even though it's a tiny little thing. <laughs> but at least I got a highlighter out of my collection. But I wouldn't repurchase this because I'm just not a big fan of liquid highlighters. Now this is the only single eyeshadow I used up. This is a ColourPop single and this took forever this is an amaze by what I went through with this it just let me know that I really need to start going through my ColourPop singles because they tend to dry out and that's what this did this dried out on me to where I had to like keep mixing eye primers in it or oils or anything to keep this going but I am proud to say I did get this out of my collection and I did finish and use this all up and now for bronzers I did end up using up three bronzers two of them being powder and full size and then this little um hula quickie contour stick this little deluxe size sample but at least i'm proud to say i did use up three which is surprising to me because you know they're bronzers so but i'm happy to say i got them out this is a physician's formula as you can tell it's completely beat up and this one is in their solar powder and this one is in light bronzer I did enjoy this, but I wouldn't repurchase this. I just have too many bronzers that I need to go through in my collection. And I liked it, but I didn't love it, so I wouldn't repurchase this. This is another Physician's Forma, and this is their Bronze Booster. So I don't like it enough to where I would repurchase that. This is a Hula Quickie Contour Stick. And I did actually really enjoy this product, but I think I like the Wet n Wild one, and that's far far cheaper than this product so i wouldn't repurchase any of these but i'm glad to say i have three bronzers out of my collection so these are all the makeup sponges i end up using up in the year which is a lot i feel like this is a lot for the year i did end up using up seven and it's mainly due to them ripping and tearing i wouldn't really go out and repurchase these too much I don't know. I feel like the Real Technique ones started tearing on me a lot. So I just, I don't know if I would re keep on repurchasing. I mean, I, I have a lot of makeup sponges that I need to go through. So sorry if these are, I mean, sorry if they're gross and disgusting to you. But I'm not going to wash them if I'm just going to throw them away, you know. I don't know if I would repurchase these. Um, I might get them when I get them on a good deal, but I have a lot of makeup sponges that I need to go through and I might want to venture out and try some of the other ones I've been hearing really good things about like the Flower Beauty or the L'Oreal. But I did get seven makeup sponges out of my collection and I do count these because you do have to replace them eventually. Now these are all the eyelashes. Well, not all of them because the other ones I didn't have containers for. So I did finish up way more false eyelashes. It's just these have containers. So this is what you get. Um, this is the Pure Pro Eyelashes. And 
it says up to 30 wears, but I felt like they really kind of clumped together after a few wears. And I did use these a, a few times, but I wouldn't repurchase these for the price. I don't think you got you get 30 wears out of them, honestly. These are the Ardell, um, the Demi Wispies, the Wispies, and the Wispies 600s. And I really ended up enjoying the Demi Wispies, the where I bought like a pack. So I do like the Ardells. The bands are really um the bands are really thin and actually clear. So I did end up repurchasing these. Just not this um pack. It's just a just a demi pack, which I really did enjoy. So we are now getting into the skincare portion. And if all you wanted to see were the makeup empties, then I say goodbye to you guys. If you enjoy the video, like it. If you would like to, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys real soon in the next one. <laughs> now, if you're here for the rest of the skincare empties, I did end up finishing up four face masks. And then, like, three of these other masks, like, daily pill and this lip mask and another, like, pill thing, whatever, skincare thing for that. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of face masks. I feel like they don't do a lot. So I would definitely not go out and repurchase. I feel like, yeah, in the short term, like when you get it off, like get the mask off, it, it feels really nice. But I don't feel like they do a lot. So I wouldn't really repurchase any of these. And I definitely didn't like this one. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Glow Pad for the face, which is with a self-tanner in it. And oh my god, you smelt this the whole entire day. So I would definitely stay away from this. It's You just smell tanner on your face and the whole time. And yeah, I did not like this product. I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, for this, I feel like it really didn't do much. I didn't feel anything. I don't feel like it calling and fuged my lips. I didn't feel like it did anything. So nope, would not repurchase this. Um, this is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I liked it, but... I don't really remember it really doing anything, so I would not repurchase that. Um, now, these masks were really nice, but other than that, I feel like they didn't really do anything, so I wouldn't repurchase any of these. This is a Dr. Jart. This is the Leaders. Um, this is the Pro Bella. These two are Pro Bellas, so just didn't like them. So, excuse the lighting. The sun keeps moving around. <laughs> so... Um, we are now into all the sunblock that I used up for the year, and that is quite a bit, but as you can see, these are all, like, travel size, sample size products, but I do use sunblock every single day, even if I don't wear makeup, just because I do believe you should wear sunblock every single day. So now these two are the Hawaiian Tropic ones and I really did enjoy these. So I would end up repurchasing them, especially for 74 cents each. I mean, that's awesome. And they do take quite a while to go through. So I definitely did like these and I would repurchase this. This is the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Cream. Disliked this, hated this, smelled like old granny. So definitely very strong scent. I would not repurchase that. So this is the Super Goop, the setting mist with rosemary. I think I should have put this in my setting sprays. But anyways, it's here. And this had SPF 50. And while I did like the fact that it had SPF 50, the smell of it is just so overpowering. It really smells like sunblock. And so I did not, so I would definitely not repurchase this product. This is the Clarins Paris UV Plus um, SPF 50. And this product has a very heavy fragrance, which I don't like fragrances, especially in my skincare. So I would not repurchase this. This is the Neogen Dermology Sunscreen in SPF 50. I liked it, but not enough to repurchase this. This is the Josie Moran with SPF 47. I like this too, but not enough to repurchase this. This is probably something I would definitely go out and repurchase. I really did enjoy this. This is the Neutrogena Beach Defense in SPF, 50, in SPF 70. Love this product. The full size is like 10 bucks, 11, something around that price. So I love this product and I do plan on repurchasing this one. And although it says Beach Defense, it really is not slippery 
or very sunscreeny like at all. It's more like a moisturizer, so I definitely enjoy this one. I like this one as well. This is another Neutrogena sunscreen, and I would repurchase this one, but I think I like this one a little better. So, I mean, either one is really great. I just like this one better, but I would definitely repurchase this one too. Um, this is a Clarence in SPF 20. Um, for the price, I don't feel like it does much. I think it's supposed to be more expensive because it has like, you know, skincare benefits than just SPF. But it is only SPF 20, so I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the Dr. Jart um, UV Sun Fluid in SPF 30. This was nice, but not better than these Neutrogena's or the Hawaiian Tropics, honestly. So I liked it, but I wouldn't repurchase this over these. So these are the makeup wipes that I went through, which is three, but I feel like I went through way more than that. I probably just did not throw them in my makeup empties. These are the Neutrogena wipes, and I really do enjoy these, but they're a bit more on the pricey side. If I can get them on a discount, I would repurchase these. These are the e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloth, which are a lot cheaper, but I don't like them as much as these, so I would not end up repurchasing these. So quickly, I finished up two bags of these. They held 200 cotton squares. And I did not like these. I would not repurchase these. These are the Beauty 360s that I bought from CVS. I did not like these. They tend to break down really easily, so I would not repurchase these. Okay, so these are all the facial cleansers I went through, makeup removers type products. So I end up using up 16 of these, um, a few of them being full size, most of them little tiny deluxe sizes. Um, let's quickly go through these. This is the Simple Foam Cleanser. Did not like this. I don't think it really cleansed the skin very well, so I wouldn't repurchase this. Um, this is the All May Long Wear and Waterproof Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I do believe this did really well to remove my makeup, so I would end up repurchasing this. This is the Philosophy Purity Made Simple Micellar Cleansing Water. I don't remember how I liked it, so I wouldn't repurchase this. These two are the Philosophy Purity Me Simple 3-in-1 Cleanser for the face and eye. Um, I enjoyed them, but I wouldn't repurchase them. This is the Lumi 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water. Don't really remember this, so I wouldn't repurchase. This is a Physician's Formula Eye Makeup Remover Lotion. So like it says, it is a lotion, so it is really gentle on the eyes. And it did remove makeup pretty well, so I would end up repurchasing this. This is the Algenis um, Gentle Rejuvenating Cleanser. It felt nice, but for the price, I wouldn't repurchase this. This is an Origins Checks and Balance Frothy Face Wash. It is definitely frothy, but I don't feel like it cleansed my skin the best, so I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the Olek Henderson Face the Truth Gel Cleanser. It was nice, but did I feel like it did like better than other things? No, so I wouldn't repurchase this. So this is the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. This is a bit of an oily eye makeup this is a bit of an oily eye makeup remover, so I don't think I would repurchase this over this one, which is more of a lotion type, which kind of just feels better on the skin. This is the Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash. Really enjoy this. I actually should have it in my exfoliating facial wash, but whatever. And I did really enjoy this, but do I like it more than my other products that I'll be talking about? No, so I wouldn't go out and repurchase this. This is the Garner this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I did enjoy this and I would consider repurchasing this. I think it did take off my makeup pretty well. This is actually one of my favorites. It's the It Bye Bye Makeup Remover. It took off all the makeup real easily. I didn't have to scrub or anything like that. But the fact that it's so expensive, I don't think I would repurchase this. I think I would just go back to the Physician Formula, which kind of pretty much did the same thing. I just think this one did a, it a little bit better. Now, the label came off of this, but this is an Olay um, Cold Cream, which helps take off makeup. I did enjoy it, but the thing is, you just it's just a mess, so... I wouldn't go out and repurchase this, but I think it did take off makeup. It's just that you really had to do a lot to take it off. So these are the exfoliating scrubs that I use, plus that other one, but it was in there, so let's, let's, let's not talk about that one. 
this is the Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion one. And I hear a lot of people really raving about this, but when I use it, I don't feel like it did more than any other like exfoliating wash that I've used. So I wouldn't repurchase this. This is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. I enjoy this. I know a lot of people say don't use these, but I don't like go really hard on my face on these. I just use it very like very gently on my face and I do enjoy this and I would repurchase. This is the Oleg Henderson Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub and I liked it but I don't feel like it did that much. It did feel really nice and it smelled really good but for the price I wouldn't repurchase it. Now this is a Mar Podescu, um Glycotic Acid Toner and I liked it. Um, but I feel like I have like witch hazel and some cheaper alternative that I can use as a toner. So I wouldn't repurchase this. Now these are all the kind of skincare products I use. And starting out with skincare, I ended up with the ordinary because I didn't want to use a very expensive products because I was just starting out and I wanted to like dabble into what I would like and what I don't like. So I found like the ordinary is probably like one of the cheaper brands to use. And I did find some things I really did enjoy. But let's talk about this one. This is the Ole Henderson True Serum. I really like this and I really repurchased this. And I have repurchased this. This is the Ordinary, the Buffet. I did not like it really. It was okay, but I didn't see really any benefits of it. So I wouldn't repurchase. This is the Ordinary Niacinamide. I don't, I didn't find any benefits with this. So I wouldn't repurchase. This is the Ordinary Alicylic Acid Suspension. I do think I really enjoy this. So I would end up repurchasing this. This is the Ordinary Magnesium, and I, Magnesium Iso, excuse me why I butchered this, but uh, yeah, I didn't like this. It had a weird like smell to it, so I didn't enjoy this. I wouldn't repurchase that one. This is the Ordinary Vitamin C Suspension. I really love this, and I have repurchased this, and will repurchase this. And like I said, I do really enjoy this, so I actually ended up using a second bottle of it. So I would repurchase the Vitamin C Suspension again. Now we are to the final category. This is all my moisturizers that I used. Um, as you can see, they're pretty much all <laughs> deluxe size samples, except for this one, which took forever this is the Nivea cream and I've had this for I don't know maybe two years and while I don't really enjoy like these type of um, formats it was nice I used it like next to my bed so I that's how I use that I have repurchased this it's actually like sitting next to my bed sometimes it can be a little too thick too oily but right now in the winter time it does feel really nice to have this is the Algenis Firm and Lifting Cream. I don't feel like it really firmed or lift. It was, and it was in an okay moisturizer, so I wouldn't repurchase this or buy the full size, really. These are deluxe size samples, cause, so I got them all free. Um, this is the Oleg Henders Transform Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. Didn't feel like it did the best, so I wouldn't go out and buy the full size. This, the, this is the Exuviance Overnight Recovery Mask didn't feel the best it was more like a gel formula so I didn't really feel like it really moisturized at all this is the Tarte Radiant C Brightener Eye Treatment eye treatments and face treatments I really don't find a difference with so I wouldn't go out and repurchase this either this is the Belief True Cream Aqua Balm. I really did enjoy this in the summertime because my face was a lot more oily and this is more of a lighter gel-like formula. So I did enjoy this, uh, but I wouldn't really consider repurchasing this just because I feel like there's other products out there that are probably cheaper that I can get a similar effect out of. And to be fair, I am oily, so I don't need too much of a moisturizing help kind of thing. This is a Renewed Hope in a Jar from Philosophy. I really did like this, but not enough to repurchase. This is a Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. I liked it, but do I like it enough to repurchase? No. And this is from First Aid Beauty, the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. I actually really did enjoy this and would consider repurchasing this one. This is a Proactive Green Tea Moisturizer. It's very lightweight, so if you are oily, it is pretty nice, 
but I don't feel like it's nice enough to go out and repurchase. This is a Shiseido Benefits Wrinkle Resistant Intensive Eye Contour Cream. I don't feel like it did anything to my eyes or my little fine lines, so I wouldn't repurchase this. This product I really did enjoy is from Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. I really did enjoy this and I would consider repurchasing this, but it's very, very expensive. So while I did like it, ugh, the price, I can't, I can't, I don't like see myself needing a moisturizer enough to pay the price. Maybe if you're very dry, but I would definitely did enjoy this product. So that is going to be it for this video. And I did have a goal of hitting $1,000 in 2018 of makeup empties. And I did, I hit $1,159.10. Ten cents. I'm very excited to say I did hit that goal so yay I mean I went over so I'm really happy and a lot of them were deluxe size samples hopefully in 2019 I will be able to hit a larger goal than that because more of them more likely than not a lot of them will be more full-size products so here's hoping to do that but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up, like the video, comment down below. Did you hit your goal that you set for 2018? Also, if you are brand new, please consider subscribing to my channel. And then thank you guys again for giving me a bit of your time. And I hope to see you guys real soon in the next video. Bye.